Good morning, year 10s. Good morning, ma'am. Today's topic is on blend and fabric finishes. Before I start with this, just to let you know, this topic will be mostly covering clothing. So, any, uh, clothing is one of our... Anybody? Basic needs. Yes, it is also one of our basic needs. Okay, so the learning outcomes for this topic is that by the end of the, this topic, students should be able to list uh, common blends for man-made fibers. Secondly, explain the reasons for blending fibers. And thirdly, identify and describe the, the fabric finishes common to man-made fibers. Moving on to the lesson objectives, uh, at the end of this topic, you students should be able to uh, identify and list the common uh, uh, <coughs> common plans for man-made fibers. Secondly, understand and explain the reasons for blending fibers. And uh, thirdly, identify and describe the fabric finishes common to man-made fibers. Firstly, we'll start off with the uh, blends. So, blends. This is when uh, two or more fibers are used to produce iron. And the most common uh, materials that are used is cotton and polyester. And uh, here is a picture of how blend looks like. This is a picture. That's the material when they blended it. That's how, that's what it will look like. Okay. So yeah, the reasons for blending fibers are, Priya, can you read me the first point, please? To unite the different properties of the two or more fiber in order to cover up less desirable characteristics in any of the fibers and to improve fabric performance. Yes. And uh, the second uh, point is that it's uh, to reduce the cost by blending a cheaper fiber with a more expensive one. And uh, second, uh, sorry, and uh, thirdly is to minimize the disadvantaged properties of the fibers brought together. Okay, the characteristics of a blend, blend, uh, sorry, the characteristic of fiber blend is firstly, it is easy to care, it's durable, uh, soft, more resistant to wrinkles, comfortable to wear, and does not shrink. Okay, any questions? No, ma'am. Okay, moving on to fabric finishes. Makes the fabric suitable for its intended use. It is the last stage for, uh, sorry, it is the last stage of fabric uh, producing. And also, fabric finishes is applied to, it, it is applied to improve the, the appearance, handle, and properties. So these are the three types of fabric finishes. Sabrina, can you read me the first one with a point? Physical and mechanical finishing, resin, calendaring, embossing, heat setting. Christian, the second one? Chemical finishing, easy care, flame resistant, stain resistant, water repellent, permanent fleeting resin. And Priya, the last one? Functional finishing, Pressing, embroidery. Okay, these are the three types of uh, fabric finishes and this is what comes under each. So moving on, the types of fabric finishes, as you can see, we have six here. So raising, uh, Priya, can you read out the method? The fabric is passed over rollers with fine wire brushes, which lift the fibers from fabrics. It is also known as napped surface yes. okay and the reason for using this method is that it uh, to produce a fabric with a soft fancy handle like for example is your pajamas the pajamas you wear for sleeping moving on to okay. easy care uh, a chemical fin finish is applied and cured by heat that's the method and the reason is Sabrina, can you read it out for the class? To minimize wrinkling during wear or after washing, dries quickly and minimal ironing. Yes. And the flame resistant. Jojo, can you read 
explain the method for this? A chlorine phosphorus finish is applied and fits can be applied to all fibers. Okay, and the reason for this is Priya? To reduce flammability of the products, however, it increases stiffness, stiffness common with children's bedtime clothes. So the common clothes that is used, the, the one the sorry, the one you see, the stiffness is mostly the children's bedtime bra. And uh, it is um, it is a good method, but it ha it also has its disadvantage. So moving on to Sabrina. Permanent pleating. Uh, Priya, the method. Heat is applied to synthetic fabrics. Fabrics. Uh, and this is the reason why permanent ple pleating is applied. Uh, Christian, can you read it out to the class? To create purple pleated garments, garments, this keeps its shape even after washing. Okay, moving on to water repellent. Um, this is the, uh, the method is, Sabrina, can you read it out to the class? Fabric is coated with a hydrophobic chemical. And the, the reason for this is to resist the absor absorption and fermentation of water, fabric remains uh, its uh, fabric remains fermentable, making it more comfortable than waterproof fabric. Okay, moving on to waterproof. Priya, fabric is treated with impervious, impermeable solid materials like rubber, waxes, or resins. And this is the reason why this method is used uh, to completely seal the pores of the fabric, making the fabric impervious to water, does not permit any water or air to get through. So these are the types of fabric finishes. This is the method, and this is why uh, why it is why is this method used? So always remember that this type of questions will be asked in your in your upcoming exams. So any questions so far? Oh ma'am. Everyone understood? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um Okay, uh I'll be giving you out our We'll just go on a recap. Let, let's just see. You. I just want to see if you guys really learned anything. So, okay. Uh, Sabrina, can you tell me one reason for blending fib fibers? Blending fibers? Yeah, one reason. Can you give me one reason? To minimize the disadvantages properties of the fibers brought together. Thank you. Um, Christian, can you give me a type of fabric finishes? Can you name me two? Uh, chemical finishing and functional finishing. Chemical finishing and functional finishing. Okay. Um, Priya, what what is uh, blends? Blends is when two or more different fibers are used to make a yarn. And. Uh, Sabrina, can you name, uh, give me some characteristics of uh, fabric blends, at least four? Uh, soft, does not shrink, easy to care for, and durable. Okay, let me just get out some questions for you guys. Okay, so, so far I think you all have understood what we have discussed. I have some activities for you guys to do at home. Pass it out. Okay, these activities, you need to do it at home. It's part of your homework. And uh, come next class, we'll discuss it before moving on to the next topic. If uh, you do not understand anything, just make a point out of it, put a point there. And then when you come next class, we'll discuss it over again. Thank you and have a blessed day. Thank you, ma'am.